here's your tail to take. For the welterweights, Thiago Alves, 35. Lauriano Starpoli is 26. He is the taller man by four inches, if my math is right. And Starpoli will have a one and a half inch reach advantage. All right, now for the particulars back inside where we find Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record. Eight wins, one loss. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 170 and one half pounds. Fighting out of the plot, the Argentina, Laureano Pepe Staropoli. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A big martial artist, only a professional record. 28 wins, 13 losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 170 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, USA, by way of Fortaleza, Brazil, Tiago Pitbull. begins our referee in charge Osiris Maya Osiris Maya busy man tonight Camila Oliveira busy woman getting us started here for round one of a possible three here in the UFC's welterweight division where Tiago Alves has been a staple for nearly 15 years Tiago Alves is in yellow Lauriano Starpoli is in blue watch the timing on Tiago's right low kick. I mean, that's something I always remember watching him. He he created a lot of pathways in this sport. He's been here a very long time. Nemiroff, bold character since 1872. It'll be a little bit more difficult for Tiago to start blasting leg kicks because Starpoli changes stances so frequently. He's never just in one position for too long. And he changes it mid Action. There you go. You see that? Now he's all right. Now look, he's southpaw. Back to conventional. He's just constantly switching his stance. So it's harder to get a beat on him. Starpoli goes high with the kick and follows up with another one. Landing to the arms of Tiago Alves. Even as he evades, he switches. So when you go to throw your counter, he's in a completely different fight stance. And he's confusing Tiago a little bit. Tiago hasn't really thrown anything because he don't know exactly where and what uh, to throw at. Right now, Tiago's just taking registration of everything that's going on. He's trying to make reads, he's being Ooh. patient. And right now, he gets clipped with the right hand looking for his favorite strike. Double jab, right low kick. Star pole, he's so long, so fluent. I mean, look how he's, just like you're saying, DC, switching stance, throwing question mark kicks, throwing up oh. elbows and uppercuts all different, moving his head in different spots. It makes it hard to read and see what you're gonna throw next because Alves wants him to just stay in one so he can make the read, but every time he switches stance, it's a different read. Looks like a cut on the hairline of Tiago Alves here early on. When Starpoli was, when Star, when Starpoli was actually able to get him against the side of the octagon, he threw some elbows, up elbow, down elbow. He gave him a whole bunch of different techniques. So you know he's so varied in his attack. Alves has to worry about so many things. And perhaps Tiago just sort of feeling things out here three minutes in, hasn't really thrown much in terms of his own offense. He has to be patient, and he has to. This man's yeah. throwing too many different techniques, all different sizes, all different looks. So Tiago has to be patient here, and he's got to make these reads in this first round and see what he's doing and come up with a game plan, I think, in the second because of all the different tools Starpole is using. And now he's countering with kicks. These are things he's got to do. I don't, I don't disagree with you very often, Don, but our fights are too short. You know, we don't have 12 rounds like a boxing match. You don't have a round to give away because now you're working with two rounds to win a fight. You always got to assume it's going to the judges. 
you can't give one away by not putting out any activity. Make your reads, but you also got to be giving the guy something to think about himself. And that's something Thiago hasn't done to this point. I mean, Star Poli's winning this fight, or this round, based on just activity right now. Octagon control and activity. Tiago Alves fought George St. Pierre for the welterweight title back in July of 2009 at UFC 100. It was a seven fight winning streak that set up that title shot for Alves. Lauriano certainly leading the dance here four minutes in. What I see from Alves is strategy and patience in the fundamentals versus the crazy techniques and the, the, the low, it's technically, they're, they're not high profile moves. I mean, they're stuff that's flashy, they're awesome. Yes, yes, yes. But they're not fundamentals, and we're seeing fundamentals at Alves. Now that's what's keeping Alves not being able to throw. He's staying, it's too easy to read. Star, uh, star poly is harder to read, but there's a lot more openings if he's not careful. Alves is looking for that opening. Alves starting to go to work with his patented low leg kicks. Flying knee attempt from Starpoli. I see exactly what you're saying, no doubt. It's like big actions, very low success rate on a lot of them. Correct. And you're not, you're definitely not wrong, DC. He is behind on the numbers, but yeah, how are you going like... to fight this Starpoli unless you do this? You've got to be he... patient with him. He's so oh. good there. That's what he's looking for. One big shot and just beat the guy who thinks he's flashier than him. Sit down, breathe. I just need you to breathe. Let him loosen up, but you have to hit him. You have to keep attacking him. That's the game plan. He's going to loosen up again. Breathe again. When you're going around him is when you have to get him. It's the only time you're going to find the distance. So you keep walking to your right, throw your punches, faint, to make him make a mistake. And you have to keep the distance to be able to throw the front kick. Watch live tomorrow is Submission Underground 8, presented by Chael Sonnen, lands on UFC Fight Pass. Austin Vanderford of Dana White's Contender Series and former UFC welterweight Jake Shields will face off in the main event. Plus, Jake Ellenberger and Diego Sanchez collide, this time in a highly anticipated grappling match. It is Submission Underground 8. It is yours live tomorrow on UFC Fight Pass. Round two here, Tiago Alves and Lauriano Starpoli. The word I was looking for is high percentage moves is what Alves yes. is throwing versus low percentage moves of Starpoli. And Starpoli is extremely fun to watch and it's a lot. But look now, Odom, look at, look at the difference, even in the posture of Alves now. It's a more aggressive posture. He had to make the reads in the first round. More yeah. aggressive and, and that's gonna equal to more success, I think. Now that he's got the reads, he doesn't have to be so worried. He's seen everything now. He threw everything he had in that first round. Now Starpoli's using the same moves again. Yep. It's not new anymore. Yep. And 11 of 60, that's 18% of Starpoli's strikes that he landed. He's only up two strikes. And right now Thiago's the one pressuring. Before he was a little bit on his back foot the first round, now he's the one going forward. With, as you said, that great technical head movement, hands high, good technique. It's a lot less energy being used by Alves, you see, and it just adds up over time to be able to get ahead as the fight moves longer. We'll see if Starpoli can keep that athleticism going every round the way he did in that first. That's a lot of energy he uses using all these techniques. He does a lot, of, he does a lot. It's like a, almost like a pattern though. He throws that right, that left jab, switches stance, throws a left high kick. He does it a lot of times. Throw jab, take that change stance, step, he throws his left high kick. What makes Starpoli so effective to me is one, the stance switch, but more than anything, it's the fakes. He faints a lot. I see all the feints, and he's getting Alves to throw when Starpoli wants Alves to throw instead of throwing when he wants. I like that. Alves down for a brief moment. Now he posts, and Starpoli drags him back down to the canvas. This is one of Alves' best attributes. He's up against the fence. He does really well with defending, but Starpoli doing the perfect thing, hooking that leg. Alves getting under hooks and he's looking to stand up using the fence. Starpoli on the single leg, head on the inside. He's going to look to dump it and transition, but he misses it. 
Let's go Alves with the spin elbow. Yeah, didn't seem to miss on that spinning elbow attempt. And Star Pulley has certainly taken his game to the next level. Hate to generalize, but he certainly made good use of the five months. He faced some adversity in that UFC debut against Hector Aldana. Very confident coming in here tonight. Now we're seeing Alves walk him down because he said, all right, young buck, all those cool moves. Now you got no energy left. Now I'm going to start pressing you like I used to. These next two rounds are mine. Do you see it that way, that he's sapped? No, he just, that's what the Alves mentality. had to do yeah. because he's a little older. So you got to wait for the young guy to use all his energy early. Right. right. I mean, he's only got nine fights. So you got to let this guy get tired and be dynamic and wear himself out in that first round. And then be the veteran. Be Alves. Beat him the last two rounds. Those are your best shots, being a little bit slower and a little less technical and a little less dynamic. Ooh. Looked like both guys landed big left hands there. Under two now to go in round two. Now Alves starting to work that low kick. Soften up. Star pulley. Star Poli doing a great job, though. I mean, he's keeping, he's kept Alves off of him the entire fight with all the different techniques, and he's not I slowing down. I think he's down. still fighting very well, very Star well. Poli. Very well. He's, he's fighting winning. really well. Yeah, he's, he's winning. winning the fight. He seems to be winning the fight. And we never know what people are watching. And the fight can change at, at the drop of a hat, but I'm what? very impressed with Star Poli. Look at that combination. I mean, this kid's fighting well, man. And I'm, even when Alves DC raises that right hand, some of that blow is still getting through. Yeah, he does. He, look, look. Now he's changing it, right? He's trying to go with the right uppercut, left hook. He went with the left hook, right uppercut. It's just the ability to switch so much allows those punches to come from so many different angles. It's like Thiago's fighting two different fights because the guy's never where you expect him to be. That took right low kick. And he's always used these techniques, Alvos, and he's always oh. been effective. This is what he does. He stays yeah. traditional. And it works, it works for him as the fight moves on. He's using a little less energy than these nice guys. Nice two body shots. Nice two body shots by Star Poli. Star Poli's on him. You see Star Poli breathing a little bit heavier now, finally. And Alves still looks great. He looks, he looks like he just started the fight. Maybe you're right, because the actions aren't as big. Even the right hands that Star Poli throws are with every bit of himself. Tiago's just letting everything kind of flow. It's 9-0 this man. Tiago Alves has fought everybody. He's got 42 fights in the octagon. He had a game plan to wear the sharper, faster guy down. He had to. That's his best hope against a super technical guy. Star Poli is very hard to deal with, and Alves is fighting a very smart fight right now. Alves with a nice combination as he presses forward. Final seconds here in round two. And Star Poli is so dynamic. Goodness. Right here, look, this is Tiago Alves. When he's at his best, he's doing that, beating up those legs. But look at that right uppercut, left hook by Star Poli. And then look at the body shot. That's what you got to go body, body, head by Star Poli. It's a good fight. It's a very close fight. Got much tighter in the second round. Both of these guys are fighting great. You're going to dominate in here. Let's do it. Breathe deep. Your boxing's really good. Your boxing's really good. Very simple. Two jabs, cross. Five minutes to win. It's one to one. You got it? You have these five minutes and even more. He doesn't like your hands. That is a power corner for Tiago Alves, Conan Silvera. Pahumpa, Marcos Damata, Cattell Kubis. Dom, your thoughts on what we're going to see out of Alves here round three. They think it's 1-1. Yeah, I don't know about that. I mean, you, you really don't know by the judges. This is a close fight. It looks like Star Poli might be up a little bit, but I think this is the round Alves decided. I'm going to wait till the third to really try to get this done, and we'll see how he shows up. Oh, wow. Star Poli likes the fight, though. Yep. If you're going to bring the fight, Star Poli likes the big knee by Alves. Star Poli's thinking the same thing as Alves. Nice shot by Alves. Alves. He takes Mariano down. That's nice experience. Yep. That's experience. And this is what it's about. Taking it to the third round, utilizing what you know in the fight game to beat some of the youngsters coming up. He's got to be ready to stay in this fight, though. We saw in Star Poli's UFC debut. He's going to continue to press the fight. Oh, yeah. Star Poli is not tired, and he is in this. He's looking to knock out Alves right now, just like Alves is looking for it. These guys are both in this fight. So a nice job by Star Poli to get this fight back to the feet. Oh, 
Numbers pretty close. But Starkly has been the more active guy as he rips the body there. Very smart of Starkly to go to the body the way he is too. I like that on his on his part. And he's been committed to it throughout. Not quite enough from Alves on that leg. It's not really beating Starpoli's leg up too bad. He's not eating it the way that we saw Marais eating it. Just your heel drives into the mat. It's because he's different. having to go backwards. So even when he's throwing that kick, he's like fading back. Ooh. Oh. Starpoli's got some energy here. This, this kid's got some energy in him. He does not get tired. You see the picture for the significant strikes, 50 to 37 for the Argentine. Rich soccer history and rivalry between these two nations. Thiago Alves was excited about that backdrop to this fight. I mean, everybody should be excited about Starpoli too, because this guy is, like I said, 9-0. and Eight in his, basically, excuse me, nine fights. Excuse me, Nick, thank you for that. Eight and one and nine fights deep, and he's already looking this good. I mean, he's gonna be fun to watch as he continues. Thiago forced that takedown action. Great entry. Alves wearing it a little bit, dealing with a cut. Looks like right beneath that left eye. Starpoli back to the body work. Genius. I mean, it's so smart. It, it's, it's very smart of him to go to the body, and it's really slowed Alves down. After that first exchange where he got the respect from Alves at the beginning of that third round, he said, nope, not today. And that immediately slowed down Alves, and then he started going to the body of Alves, and fundamentals or not, you start beating up the body, it slows the person down. Starpoli is such a big guy for this weight class, too, that he's throwing that lead body shot from the open. Two minutes now to decide this one. Alves goes to the inside leg kick, and another one for good measure. He's got such good timing, Starpoli. I mean, he sets everything up by circling you into his power and his kicks and his spin attacks and his elbows. I mean, extremely good at setting you up by switching stance and circling you into his power. And, and that's one of his best attributes mixed with his feints. Certainly appears to be the fresher, more active guy here down the stretch. He did not get tired, and that's huge for him. He kept the, he kept the dynamic movements. There's a nice uppercut landed by Alves. Don't forget, Alves has one of the best left hooks in the game, and he's oh, looking yeah. for it right now. <laughs> Alves with the low leg kick. He's done a pretty good job raising his guard defensively, but Starpoli just hasn't stopped with the offense. He's just throwing so much at him, man. It's like you keep throwing stuff at the wall and hoping something sticks, and right now that's what Starpoli's doing. Great body cut by T.L. Yeah, by Tiago, sorry. I think the plan also was to get the youngster tired, and really, Starpoli really yeah. came in shape. Very oh, good nice shape. Nice knee, nice and knee. Landed. And he's hurt. Forces Lauriano to retreat. The veteran's on him. And that's what happens. You can't ever sleep on a veteran like Alves. He's always in the fight. And Alves pressing forward, smells blood in the water. Heavy kick there, under 30 seconds now to go. Yeah, he's hurt him. Starpoli's got the respect now. Nice read by Alves to land that left hook. Alves is on him, turning it up. End of this round. Starpoli fought a great third round. Oh! Alves lands the knee and then he slips on the retreat. Alves finishing so strong though. Awesome fight. He's Could two. be a tough one to oh, judge. Hey. Huge punches landed oh, by Alves there. Up. Beautiful fight. Another great showcase for the UFC's welterweight awesome. division that is absolutely loaded. 26 UFC fights for Tiago Alves, just two for Lauriano Staropoli. We will find out shortly if he did enough to take out a big name in his UFC debut tonight. This fight replay is brought to you by Nemiroff, bold character since 1872. You're seeing here, Alves with those low kicks that he loves so much. Nice uppercut by Staropoli there. Beautiful body shots, finishing to the top of the head. And right here, more leg kicks, combinations by Starpoli, walking through the leg kicks, hunting down Alves, and Alves using his technical ability and his 
experience to time the perfect takedown. More body shots that really started to slow down Alves towards the third. And both these guys stepped up heavy in this last round. You saw this knee land. It hurt Starpoli. Got him moving back. Gave him a good bloody nose. And now they're both bleeding. These fighter stats are brought to you by Poker Stars. Pound for pound, the greatest online poker experience in the world. Take on the best to win millions of prizes every day on PokerStars.net. Head strikes, two to one ratio for Laureano Starpoli. Body strikes, he had the advantage as well. No surprise to see Tiago Alves have the advantage in terms of the leg strikes, 25 to three. All right, the scorecards are in. This official decision brought to you by Metro by T-Mobile. Catch all the action with Metro by T-Mobile. Get knockout coverage on a network that rivals the big guys for way less. Bruce Buffer now with that decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 30-27, 30-27, and 29-28 for the winner by unanimous decision, Laureano Pepe Staropoli. What a moment for the team and for Laureano Staropoli. Congratulations. If we can maybe get a cut man in here to get this man a towel. Can I get that towel, sir? Laureano Staropoli, congratulations on a huge win here tonight. Was this the fight that you were expecting against Thiago Alves? Parabéns pela vitória enorme. Essa é a luta que você esperava contra o Thiago Alves? Sim, sim. Eu achei que ia ser uma luta muito dura, muito difícil lutar com uma lenda. Só com duas lutas, muito obrigado UFC, muito obrigado aqui a gente. Eu represento o Brasil porque eu estou morando aqui no São Paulo, treinando com o melhor equipo do Brasil, a Chute Box. Então, galera. Espero que a partir de agora torça mais por um argentino que ama vocês. Obrigado a todo mundo. Yeah, I knew it was going to be a really tough fight against a legend like Thiago Alves. And you know, I'm Argentinian, but I'm living in Brazil. I'm training in Sao Paulo with the best team, so I'm representing Brazil as well. Non-stop offense from you and pressure the entire 15-minute fight. How much of your strategy was rooted in that to keep the pressure on the veteran from horn to horn? Você continuou avançando e atacando durante 15 minutos. Essa era a sua estratégia? Sí, eu, me, eu queria no cachear a ele no terceiro round eh, porque eu senti que tinha mais gás, mas sim foi estratégia. E UFC, por favor, quero pelear o 10 de agosto em Uruguai, na terra de meus irmãos uruguaios. Quero estar representando a Argentina, representando o Brasil e representando a Latinoamérica já. Muitas graças. Yeah, I wanted to knock him out in the third round. And you know, UFC, I really want to fight in the next card in Uruguay. I'm representing Brazil, I'm representing Latin America. Great performance tonight. Enjoy it with the team. Congratulations. Let's hear it, Rio, your winner, Laureano Storpoli.